Hello, hello. Um, so after a um, super early one yesterday, half nine, I think it was, um, I'm now a little later at three o'clock. Um, I like to keep you all on your toes. Um, so today, uh, welcome to day 25 of our daily positive steps. Um, if you um, haven't seen any of these before, I shall quickly explain what I'm doing here. So every day, uh, Monday to Friday, I am going live here on this page um, to share one positive step um, that you can take, something super simple um, to improve your business. Now, some of these steps are directly business related and some of them are more kind of general um, because let's face it, anything that's going on outside of our business um, can impact how we show up in our business. So if things aren't right there, um, they won't be right in your business either. Um, and so um, I, I'm sharing quite a wide range of little tips and tricks. Um, so today, oh, and if you haven't seen them all, by the way, and you would like to go and, um, yay, Stacey, you join me live, woohoo. Um, yes, if you haven't seen them all and you would like to go and binge watch the positive steps, um, then go and check out the video section of this page and um, binge away, my friend. Grab some popcorn, glass of wine. It's a perfect night in. Um, okay, so today I wanted to chat to you about giving yourself a break. Um, and the reason I'm talking about this today is because I found myself, um, I'm the kind of person that um, tends to, you know, want to do everything and I'm kind of pushing myself. And I've recently, you know, I started running um, back in last summer, which I love. And then I recently read a book, The Miracle Morning, which meant getting up early and trying meditating and doing this. And I love all of this kind of stuff. Um, and I find it really motivating and really helpful. But every now and then I'm like, oh, it just feels a bit much and I want a break. And then I start to beat myself up and go, oh, if I stop, I'll get out of the habit. And, you know, it's lack of self-discipline and it's this and it's that. And um, last night I was doing just this to myself um, because I had planned to um, book, uh, set the alarm bright and early this morning um, and get up um, and go for a run in time so that I could be back and showered and ready for my first um, client call that I had this morning, uh, which was at 10 o'clock. And so um, as the evening went on, I was just like, I'm really not feeling it, really not feeling it. And there was this sort of one side of my mind going, come on, Claire, you know, don't be such a loser. <laughs> Um, and then eventually I was like, you know what? No, I've been doing this. You know, I've, you know, I'm enjoying it, and I don't want to turn it into something that I don't enjoy. And um, by forcing myself when I'm just not feeling it, um, it th that's kind of what's happening. And I was like, you know, what? this week I felt really tired. I felt a little bit off, a little bit ropey. Um, I'm a bit run down. I was getting a mouth ulcer, which is always a sign that I'm getting, you know, a bit run down. And I thought, no, I'm just going to chill this week. I'm just going to give myself a break. Um, and so I didn't set my alarm and I, you know, woke up at normal time at like seven o'clock when my six year old came in and who is our natural alarm clock every morning anyway. Um, and I stayed in bed and had a cup of tea um, before eventually getting up and having a shower. And it's fine. The world didn't come crashing down and I, you know, feel better for having had a rest. And so I just wanted to come and share that if you are the kind of person that kind of feels you always have to be, you know, pushing, pushing, pushing um, and beats yourself up when you're not, give yourself a break. The world won't come crashing down. I promise you, I've tried it and it worked. Give yourself a break. The thing to watch out for is when that, you know, that days break or weeks break turns into weeks, months, you know, then you need to start to think what's going on here. Um, it, you know, and this is the same in your business. So I wrote, I was, I've been reading back over my, my old blog post recently because I'm updating them. And um, there was one post that I'd written where I was talking about just this and I was sort of saying, you know, um, we all have bad days. We all have moments in our lives, whether it be a moment or a day or a few days or a week where we're just we're not feeling it and where we just can't be bothered or we're just not feeling motivated. And it just, you know, it just happens for whatever reason. And there is absolutely nothing wrong, in my opinion, for just going, do you know what? I'm not doing it today. I'm going to take a break. I'm going to have a day off. I'm going to sit and watch Netflix. I'm going to, you know, sit out in the garden with a cup of tea and read a good book because you'll feel better. And yes, if it does turn into, you know, three days, one week, 
two months, you know, whatever, um, feels maybe a bit much for you, then maybe then start to look and kind of go, what's going on here? Why is this happening? Why am I still not feeling motivated? Because then maybe there is something deeper going on. But a lot of the time, it is just a simple case of you need a break. So give yourself a break and enjoy it. And don't beat yourself up. Um, this is me giving you permission to go and sit in the garden, have a cup of tea and read your book for a bit and, and you know, enjoy it. And that's it for today. Um, if you've enjoyed this, do give it a like. Um, if you've enjoyed um, the other videos and you would like to see them in your feed and not miss out, then make sure you give the page a like. Um, and if you want to make my day, then do both um, because it's so nice uh, to get some feedback and to see people liking um, the stuff that I'm putting out there. And I shall see you again tomorrow for day 26 of our Daily Positive Steps. Take care. Have a wonderful afternoon. Bye.